We can just start off with the obvious giant yeah. crocheted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are their names? Dan and what? Dan and Charlene, boy. Dan and Charlene. Charlene. I don't know where they're from. Well, they're we, from Nebraska. We started off for the fans. They okay. hand delivered that thing. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it didn't come in the mail? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, no. Oh, they hand delivered it? They brought that thing. God, to I wish I'd have been us. there to meet them. Darn. Yeah. That, well. Where were they well, you'd where have were they had to from? be here at about 8 30 on Friday morning. Yeah. Where were they from? They were from I, I, either Nebraska or Iowa. They okay. were they were right up in the heartland somewhere. Okay. Up there. Well, uh, Dan and Charlene, hey, thank you very much. Hey, y'all hit it on this. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's that Black impressive. Panther is. Oh, no, no. Look, they didn't miss nothing. They've got it all inside that thing with Mr. Believe. That's his name, boys. <laughs> According to his name tag, it's Silas. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah but hey, hey, I'm calling him Mr. Believe. Oh, okay, Mr. Believe. <laughs> what y'all can't see at home, probably, if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> or if you're listening. Or if you're listening, just imagine they built a crochet 15 to 18 inch tall black panther crochet they put him in a glass case and they decorated him with everything from size life from a yeah. bible to a squirrel to yeah. a beaver to dominoes <laughs> a deuce to, and a half. to poker a cards deuce and a half and of course and he spins a little army man and yep. uh, the american flag yep. and his tea glass complete with mr and mrs t's in it That's so it. Um, I didn't even notice that. Oh no! Yeah. yeah, they didn't miss nothing. I mean, not a thing. And they got a shotgun. Lay, was that a shotgun or a rifle laying at his feet? It don't matter. <laughs> but there's, there's a weapon laying at that panther's feet. Here's what I'll say, Dan and Charlene. That thing is a work of art. It is. It's it beautiful. is. And um, and thank you very much. And if Cy doesn't take it. It will live forever somewhere in this duck call room. Well, it hey, may end up being like Superman on well, hey, Seinfeld. You yeah. may just hey, look I up just and find it. I think this is a good spot for it. Oh. If Cy takes it, Kelly from LaPorte, Colorado, sent, this one came in the mail. Well, hey. And it was just a, and she sent us a bunch of like, well, that's one of them things. Smell good things, things That's too. why I can cuddle up with him tonight in the bed. You know, if I was a bet man, I would say old Dan had some military experience because hey. he pays attention to details. <laughs> <laughs> That Kelly, thing is that detailed. Thing? Yeah, this one's from Kelly. That uh, one's from Dan uh, and Charlene. Kelly, my wife's going to love this. I bet you can okay. probably scare Sweet Pea to death with that. Yeah. No, no, I Sweet, am. I'm, Sweet Pea I'm, get intimidated time, by I'm that. I'm going there like you're right here and just... <laughs> and, and she sent you a bunch of air fresheners, too. <laughs> Apparently, she thinks we might all smell. All right. That's probably to hang up next to you. All right, who sent the... Uh, I didn't read that part of the letter. And the uh, hostess cupcakes come from Ira. Yeah. All right, Black Panther, you get up and guard them cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> We got all sorts of stuff today. Fan mail days are the best, though. I do like when we just receive packages. Especially really cool ones. Well, them was the best ones yet. That's a cool one. So, So, I consider it like a late Father's Day gift. Yeah. That's what we'll go with. Oh, that is a good one, too. That's a late Father's Day gift. Happy (laughs) Father's Day. Me and John David and Stone worked really hard on that. No, I'm just kidding. I looked at it all day Well, I'm going to say whoever did and we done told them, yeah, y'all pulled it off on that. That was awesome. Out of the park, boys. Not just a home run. This one over the river. <laughs> oh, okay. And through the woods. Yeah, and through the woods, and it's still going. Uh, oh, my goodness gracious. Si, you've created a phenomenon with the Black Panthers. I've... Hey, look, boys, he's there. Trust me. Oh, man. Me and old Jason and Johnny Guy went and seen him one time, and they're just too stupid to allow their brain to process it. <laughs> Okay, mine. Wait, I, so they saw mine? Them. Okay, it's crazy to begin with. So hey, it wasn't no problem for me to process it. Hold on, I didn't know that they also saw it. They were all in the same vehicle. Oh no, yeah, we're in the it. same vehicle. That's what I told you. That was the dumbest thing I've ever been involved in. Supposedly, three grown men in the pickup, and on and only we one all, of them saw a black fan. Yeah, and yeah. we all saw the same thing, and it's only one of us that was man enough to stand up and. St- say what it was it was a black cat with a big long tail boys it started as a bobcat yeah. went to a no, deer it went to the deer to... and then jason finally got it in the right family when he said oh when he run in that chest high johnson grass right there i got a clear look at him he was a bobcat i said well at least we've got him in the family 
the cat family now, anyhow. And that's what led to Godwin on Duck Dynasty crawling through the bushes. Uh, With his shirt off. Mm -hmm. Jason Jason shows poorly to let John Godwin be the panther. (laughs) (laughs) He was just trying to prove anything turns black at that distance. No. Even Godwin with his shirt off yeah. turned no, turn black. We could put Johnny Godwin on the moon, okay, yeah. and take, tell him to take his shirt off, and everybody would look up at the moon and say, what in the world is Johnny Godwin doing <laughs> on the dark side of the moon? <laughs> uh, my, favorite, more. <laughs> my favorite part <laughs> that, Get him, boy. Get him. My favorite part that nobody got to see on that episode was the first time they had Godwin do that without his shirt off. He went he went chest first into a briar patch. Oh. And he come out of them rascals way faster than oh. he went into it. It was fantastic. I mean, he just I, I hands just, and knees straight I, into them briars. I, I just run that through my brain fan again video. And then it was one of these. Oh, when he turned around and come out, yeah, it looked he like... He come out. He looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, his eight legs were eight up. I'm oh, talking about. Oh, it was great. He said, Paul spent an hour pulling briar, <laughs> you know, thorns out of his legs. Oh, yeah, because it was, it was fall, so the briars were all dry and just broke off into him. It was, it was oh, funny. Man, it was funny. I hated it for Goblin, but it was funny. <laughs> Oh, it's one. always funny when it happens to someone else. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, ain't no doubt about that. I we went uh, we went frogging the other night, and typical you you in them bushes, and, and I look up and there's just a purple tail nest like you ain't seen lately, and I'm like, <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be bad here. Well, one of them got on our boy, and I didn't know this, but that wasp like. Like, got on him and bit him while he was stinging him. Looked like an ant. You know how that ant gets, oh, yeah. gets both ends and like hey, that? The wasp has got that, too. And just got no. him right there and wouldn't let go. You want That ain't fair. Well, Pick one. You either well, bite no, no. or you sting. Yeah. Don't you do pop both me. of them. You pop me is bad enough. But no, when he, you grab me and then just spin around and sting me. Yeah, he was in like his little bitty tight formation, oh, yeah. biting on yeah. one end and dough popping with the other end. Well, and like, I can sting? Uh, can bite? Oh. I saw it the other night. Oh, no, 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 look. They got just like a, a ant. They got, it look like claws. Oh. Okay. I they mean. They grab hold. That's what they, mm. they don't, they don't bite you. They actually pinch you. I mean, dough popped hey, it. I know we're yeah. doing a podcast right now, but Miss K just tried to call me. You think I ought to call oh. her back? Yeah, you yeah. probably should. Yeah. We can yeah. tell what happened to K on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we? Yeah. Why not? I mean. This is for dog lovers. Yeah. <laughs> Do Man. not kiss your pet while he's asleep. Yeah, you scared him, and he wakes up and bites you. That's, that's how. That's what happened to Miss K. Well, hey, you you feeling okay? <laughs> hmm. No, I already did. I, we 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 t- we talked this morning. <laughs> we're look, we're we're doing the podcast right say now. Say hello, K. Yeah, you and made you the podcast, K. Say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kay. Hey, Kay. How are you feeling? And, and, and not improved, but different looking, Miss Kay. Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh. different looking, Miss Kay. Well, we're all we're all praying for you, and uh, if there's anything you need me to do, you just call me. You are yeah, sweet. Well, you still are sweet and lovely, Miss Kay. I, I was watching a horror film, but then I realized it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hey, I'm between your husband and the dogs, I'm sure God has she can't a plan hear you. For okay. This. I'm going to help somebody just because I went through this. That's what I'm hoping for. You will talk- have something lined up. Okay, you taught the world a valuable lesson. What? Don't wake a sleeping dog. That's Let it. Let them lie. I Let them lie. So yeah, many questions. Yeah, somebody needs to put that in the paper. That is a <laughs> Now, Bobo knows he did something wrong because he won't look at Ben Phil. He just puts his head down. That's because he knows he's on borrowed back. time. So yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. He wasn't supposed to do it. But yeah. he does. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we so, love you, and we're, and we're praying for you. So, uh, okay, you just, we'll do that. And uh, and and he said in a week I won't be sore. So so we'll just week? get that by. That's well, right good. now uh, I'm in pain, but you know what? I learned that you can live in pain. So maybe that's part of my less learning um, lesson. Well, but I can comfort other people that yeah. has something happen like oh. this. 
Well, if you need me to do anything, just let me know. Okay, I love y'all. All right, love you. I love you, Kay. <laughs> Bye. So can, can I get a recap of what happened? Okay. I, I'm of the understanding I'll, a dog bit Miss so Kay. Here, what, I'll let Stone tell But it seems so, worse than hey. whenever I was laughing at the beginning. It seems bad. I'll, Is it I'll bad? I'll tell you if you stop talking. Okay, I'll stop talking. <laughs> now, <laughs> last night at midnight, uh, we get a phone call, and Miss Kay went to kiss Bobo goodnight like she does every night. Bobo was asleep. She kissed him on the nose, and he bit her bottom lip. And Bad I would say yeah. a third of her bottom lip is gone. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. all you Bobo took a chunk out of he it. He took oh, a yeah. chunk out. Oh, yeah. So yeah. all you prayer warriors out there, throw, oh. throw up one for Miss yeah. K. But she's uh, physically, she's just you know in, in some pain. But you know, uh, it could have been worse. Uh, could have been worse. Oh yeah, he could have just oh, stayed yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times them dogs get to bite and they don't stop for a minute. Oh, I could have shook it. And shook really, and yeah. ripped. I mean, yeah, really I mean, he ripped yeah. enough. But yeah. Yeah. That, what's crazy <sighs> about that is Bobo's only ever shown aggression to one person. Well. <laughs> Jimmy Red. Well, <laughs> well, he don't like Red. Red and all his kids. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. yeah, he can smell it. Uh, I, yeah. Bobo yeah. hates rednecks. <laughs> and he also hates if you cover your face and walk That's towards right. him yeah. real slow. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Because yeah. he about bit me on the butt one day when Phil conned me into doing that. Yeah. But I did it because Phil Robertson said to do hey, it. Phil, so. Phil's got everybody to do that. Oh, I know. And he says, watch him, Bobo. Uh, so maybe uh, Kay had her face covered up a little bit and woke him up. Yeah. It just wasn't good. But. Started him. Yep, started yeah. Him. yeah. yeah it, the it, old it, phrase, let sleeping dogs yeah. lie, it's right. true. That's mm. it. So Phil took her to the hospital last night and uh, her, him and Phyllis and uh, – this morning she was at my house, <laughs> so they dropped her off at my house and then uh, went on home. <laughs> but no, it, it was it's, it was oh, it's a nasty my. looking wound. Mm. But, uh, I've been bit by a few dogs. Every one of them I deserved. I was doing something dumb, and uh, yeah, I've never been bit on the face though. I bet that hurt. But th I, th think yeah, about, I bet that hurt. Thing about Miss K is, uh, you know, when something bad happens, she's always looking for the for the good in it. Yeah. So maybe it's you? me learning how to live with pain. Yeah, she well, seemed in good spirits. Oh, she was. The only way that Kay's the only person to come out of that saying something like that. What am I trying to learn here? What's that's he right. trying to teach yeah. me here? Yeah, Lord, what are you trying to yeah. show me here? Well, that's the way we all should be looking yeah. at it. Yeah. Oh, Hunter, I, agree. that is a good way to look at it. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have way fewer bad days yep. if you if you yep. approach it with that mindset. That's um, right. On that note, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. Let's take a break. Look, I don't know if these two things conspired together, but they sure did too. This was the first year I've ever used Sunday, Sunday. on my lawn. Sunday lawn. And I, I'm having to mow twice a week now at some point. I can walk outside barefooted. I don't have to worry about all the weeds and all that kind of stuff. Look, Sunday lawn care, super easy to use. Whenever you go online, you enter your address. It draws a basically a picture of your lot calculates how big it is and tells you what you need based on the soil type in your area to your lawn and then you pick the plan that works for you they have some that are as small as you want and some as robust as you want it's all up to you it's incredible what it's done to my lawn i'm sure it'll do the same thing for yours it just makes it super simple so all you have to do is visit GetSunday.com slash duck and get a $20 off your custom lawn plan at checkout. That's $20 off your custom lawn plan at GetSunday.com slash duck. Let's take the guesswork out of growing a greener, more beautiful lawn this spring. And save 20 bucks, boys. Speaking of monkeys uh, and Black Panther sightings, Old Dan, you know, old Dan the butler, oh. he, he come come to me one day. This was about three years ago. He said, I saw a monkey on the, on the land. I said, do what? He said, I saw a monkey on the land. I said, you saw a monkey on Phil's property. I said, what kind of tree was it in? Yeah, what he said, was it in? A persimmon tree. A persimmon tree. I said. Well, if I was a monkey, that would be. Uh, that would be a good spot to be in. <coughs> also a, a good. A fruit tree. Also a good, a good yeah. place to hang out if you're a raccoon. That's right. Or, or a if possum. you're a possum. Yeah. Or a possum. Yeah. So I said, what this monkey looked like? He said he was black with a white face. <laughs> yeah. I said, why didn't you take a picture of yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. 
What he do you said, think? He's I just got a didn't phone think on about it. Too. I mean, he walked right up underneath yeah. the cemetery. He's got a phone on him. Monkey's looking at him, and he didn't take a picture of it. So, but he comes back, and tells all us he saw this monkey. So we naturally made fun of him. <laughs> and when we made fun of him, you would have thought, you know, I punched him in the face. Oh, we broke his heart. He, he just, he, boy, <laughs> it hurt him that that we did not believe that he saw a monkey at on Phil's property. So this was during uh, deer season. So I went deer hunting the next morning and i kid you not i look over there had had, had a, uh, some corn on a stump and uh something crawled up on that stump it was black <laughs> so i got my scope out and i put it on it and it looked up at me and it was a black possum with a white face <laughs> have you ever seen one yeah, I, well, some of them get darker than yeah. others, but this one was. Yeah, but this one. Color your hat. Black. No, no black. your hat. Hey, this one was solid black with a white face on it. He, Jet black. He looked. He looked yeah. wild. He mm. really did. So look I saw weird. him too. I was hunting yeah. side stand. Yeah. 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 Crazy looking possum. Yeah. Black possum with a white face. Yeah. So he I come pretty. back. He was actually pretty. Oh, he was. Yeah, and a possum ain't pretty. He'd have made a pretty mouse. But this one was pretty. He <laughs> but was according pretty. to Dan the Butler, it was a ring-tailed lemur. Oh, oh, yeah. Ring-tailed <laughs> lemur. Hey, yeah. that joker was as black as this panther right here. Yeah, he okay? was. And, uh, and, and his face was like a white sheet of paper. Yeah. So, that so, land right, down there is like the place time for guys. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's where all exotic animals end <laughs> oh, up. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, like. Yeah. So, one time we had Carter's little friend over named Franklin, and they're both six or seven. All of a sudden, Franklin comes running inside. He's like, Mr. John David, there's a monkey outside. <laughs> and I was like, first off, I hope so. Yeah, that's awesome. Because that's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was also a possum. Possum. So Dan and seven-year-olds are getting yeah. quite confused. Well, and I came back and told Dan that I saw the black possum with the white face. <laughs> he, just shook, he just shook his head. <laughs> He was still so disappointed. I didn't believe he saw that monkey. And to this day, if you bring it oh, up, no. he, he gets, he gets monkey. upset. Yeah, he believed it was a monkey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but how cool would it be if there was a monkey? My favorite huh? part of all the wild tales that go on down there, anytime Phil tells one, it's he bull- comes back with a body. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Phil said, you should have seen this. Oh, yeah, it's back here in the back of the pickup oh, truck. Yeah. But you can't yeah. shoot a monkey. Yeah. There ain't no oh, season hey. on it. Well, hey. You might not. You might not shoot a monkey. What would happen if you shot something <laughs> that doesn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've, done, I've done told y'all that story. Uh, I tried that with the wildlife people. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's called wildlife fishing. That's right. Well, that like that one girl it. shot an elk in like somewhere that doesn't have elk. She yeah, well, I mean, deer. stuff gets out all the time, yeah. but mm. it, it's. Oh. What's the rules? I don't know about shooting a but monkey. He's right. He, <laughs> if I can, if there's a monkey in my yard, I wouldn't shoot a monkey. No, that monkey's way too close to a human. Start grabbing at the wound. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you imagine you shot him in the chest and he just goes like this, grabs Come on, both man. of them, like you know? I mean, I couldn't do it. I would if he put his hands up. I could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People do that though. I, I, I love it. Oh, I know. Over in Africa, like why'd you them, shoot him? He had his hands up. <laughs> oh man, them baboons are considered pests over there. Oh, they, no, no, they, no, no. they, they, whack so they em. just whack yeah. them and stack them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Whack them and stack. I don't think I could do that. Oh, yeah, because I think over there, them baboons to them are equivalent to like raccoons here. Get in there, knock over the trash, and oh, do, yeah. you know, do like hundred other prairie dogs. Or, or black bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have had to have buckshot to shoot them three on my front porch. What's that? Them raccoons? <laughs> yeah. Cause Cause I'm telling you, hey, 22, r- r- 22 rifles wouldn't done them boys in. I'm no. telling you, <laughs> no, you'd have had to have buckshot for them boys. Oh, hey. biggins! Oh, hey, steroids. These are steroid stuffed. You well, know. Then sign them up for the baseball yeah. team. Yeah, hey, I'm mm. telling you. <laughs> Mark, Mark. Hey, I'm looking <laughs> in my mind right now. I've got them on the porch. Okay, I'm serious. These suckers were beefed up. Yeah, you talking about, you talking about some bull coons? Huh. Oh Lord, seventy-five to a hundred pound piece. Uh, Martin's right though. When, whenever Phil sees uh, something, oh yeah, he always has the evidence to yeah. back it up. Like, Nobody uh, else comes oh, back yeah. with uh, a body. Some old hand uh, was looking for all his hogs. He turned loose. That's uh, what I was getting. Uh, at he right he there. turned like eight 12, hogs. Twelve. Was it twelve? It mm-hmm. was twelve. He turned twelve hogs. And, and you know how hogs tear up. Uh, 
everything. property. They hey. tear up everything. And they breed faster yeah. than rabbits. And you can't control the population. Because yeah. so, Phil run into them, and guess what? Yep. Bacon. That twenty two rifle with hollow points, those stingers. All of them. Hey, he He'd got a bullet. On. He oh. got a bullet in every one of them, and, and some of them two and three. Well, so what happened was. This is the best part. The best part this of this the story. Best part right here. So this old I guy is looking at him. He said, hey, he'd come down to Phil's house. I was there when he came out. He said, hey, you ain't seen my, my hogs, have you? Phil's like, huh? He said, you ain't seen my hogs. Phil said, no, I ain't seen no hogs. <laughs> so we, and then the, the next day, we're out there and look up. Here come 12 hogs. So Phil gets his rifle. Tap, 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 tap. All of them. Got All every them. one of them. They hey. on the run. Yeah. You hey. talk about impressive. Hey, he come so, back. He told Red. He so, said, Red, go over there to the land. <laughs> okay. I shot a bunch of pigs. He said, hey, I got a bullet. In all of them, yep. two or three in some of them. Yep. He said, but you need to run them all down. You can have them. Right, so Red goes out there, gathers up all the hogs. Right? <laughs> all so he, he's got his, his meat hanging place right there by his house on the road. So he's hang, he's got all the hogs hanging up. Oh, all, oh right. All, right yeah. On, yeah, on the road. Yeah. Got, yeah. Them, got them skint. You know, it's nothing but carcasses there. So the, the old guy that was looking for his hogs, he come driving by. And he sees all, all, all them hogs hanging up. And, he thought uh, it was deer at first. Yeah, he, th he said he thought it was deer. And he said, uh, Red, are those hogs? He said, yes, sir. He said, are those my hogs? <laughs> I turned them loose over there next to Phil's property. <laughs> and Red said, hey, all I can tell you is you turned them loose on the wrong man's property. That's right. Because <laughs> Phil ain't no letting no hog eat duck food. Then the old boy, so, the old boy asked Red, he said, do you mind if I have one of my hogs? Yeah. He said, <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. So uh, another another instance where that happened, Phil, in his early years, was poaching on the Franklin's property over there. He was just hunting on Franklin's land. He didn't know who owned it. So he hunted, he hunted on it. It was just right there next to the river, a little pothole. He had it for, what, three years? Mm -hmm. And nobody ever knew it. So he was hunting one day. Some old guy come up and said, hey, how's it going? Phil said, oh, pretty good. He said, you mind if I hunt with you? Phil said, come on. So they hunted all morning, and at the end of the, end of the hunt, uh, the old guy said, well, by, the, by, by, by the way, my name, is, my name is George Franklin. I own this piece of property. <laughs> <laughs> they said, thank you for letting me hunt with you on my land. Yeah, on my land. Phil and said, hey, no problem. They's friends ever since. Yeah. They's friends ever since. From that right. morning right there. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> he said, mind if I have one of my yeah. hogs? Yeah. You mind yeah. if I have one of my hogs? And mind if I have <laughs> one of my hogs? <laughs> Red ate on them hogs for about a year and a half. All ah, right, well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> that's funny. So, si, how are you liking your Helix mattress? Hey, it's great. You sleep? Look, no, no, I'm serious. He said, I, I go out and I had to stay in the hotel. <laughs> Ain't no good. Can't sleep. You done got used to that done, helix sleep I, I system, baby. I done got baby. used to it. You know, I got the extra firm. I done got used to it. Hey, I'll say hey, this. They need to upgrade the mattresses in all the hotels. <laughs> to helixes. Uh, hey, hey, look, you got I'm enough serious. money, son. They'll ship them right to the door where you stay and just order you one. They're so easy no, to set up. All you no, got to do is cut the band no. off of now, it. Hey, Willie's got plenty of money. But I, <laughs> hey, look, I had to sleep on my couch the other night from the bathroom. We had it painted, and there were fumes everywhere, and I had a headache. Ooh. I should have just went with the fumes because I woke up. After sleeping on not a Helix mattress, that couch, and I and said, "This is it. I'm old and I can't move." Yeah. Yeah. You it took me an hour. Hey, you got a Helix Thank mattress? Thank you, a whole, oh, a yeah. Excel, boy. It's, uh -oh. all, it's like a puffy. Cloud. What size is it? A king. I, I'm gonna come get it tomorrow. Uh oh. <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you lost your mattress. Here, here we go. No, that's mine. I'm <laughs> coughing. Look, Helix Sleep has a quiz. It takes just two minutes to complete. It matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way you sleep. Everybody's unique, and Helix knows that. So they have several different models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm. Mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot, and even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. Ooh, uh -huh. I know a couple of those. Yeah, me too. I resemble that remark. So look, <laughs> I took the Helix quiz. I was matched to the uh, Midnight Lux is the one that I got. So I, I'm Moonlight. Moonlight. Yeah. I'm a. I, I sleep on a cloud. I yeah. need lots of like a feather bed. So look, I I'm a firm guy, and I sleep flat on my back. That's just the way I am. 
mouth open, good, heavy sleep. That's just what I do. So if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz, order the mattress, your match to, and it comes right to your door, ship for free. You don't ever have to go to a mattress store again. Helix is awesome, but you don't need to take our word for it. They were awarded the number one best overall mattress pick in 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash duck, take the two-minute quiz, and they'll match you. They have a 10-year warranty. And you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck. That's helixsleep.com slash duck for up to $200 off and two free pillows. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I had a good one the other day. We were fishing Saturday and... um, I, I, I start smelling something burning. Of course, I'm in the back of the boat. You know, you ever get that smell? You're like, something's mm. on fire. Yeah. I turn around and look. That's not a up. good smell in a boat either. Yeah. The front of the boat, there's just a pillow of smoke coming up out of it. I said, uh-oh. Hmm. Look at here. Well, Jacob was up there fishing, and the smoke was coming from between his legs, and he done got one of the wires had done got a bare spot in it and grounded onto that boat so all of his wires to his trolling motor were just frying as he had his foot on the pedal of it well being a redneck he is he just unplugged it and threw it in the water <laughs> he just, just unplugged this just threw the trolling motor in the water the whole just, trolling motor yeah well the everything but you know it's mounted on the side but it was coming from the core so the foot pedal the cord everything he just threw it in the water he <laughs> said i didn't know how else to put out a fire <laughs> Was this <laughs> Willie's boat or Jacob's boat? No, it was no, it was uh, <laughs> no, it was Jacob's boat. It was funny. I laughed. Hey, I laughed because he was up there scrambling, not moving. And the I, next thing I know, it just went bloosh, out in the water. And I leave, said, "Maybe to a redneck." Touche. I yeah. I'd have said, "I don't know what I'd have done." He said, "Trust me, you'd have thought fast too." He said, "When that smoke's coming out from under your crotch, you get rid of it." Because <laughs> a boat don't make it very long when it's on fire. No, small vessel fires are not good. Not good. Nope. It was it was funny. I laughed. Man, I laughed. I almost sank my dad's boat in the middle of Caney Lake whenever I was about nine. <laughs> Didn't have a plug in it? Well, I was just pressing buttons. Oh. Uh-oh. Just, yep. I wonder what this one does. Turned the bilge pump on. Just left it going. Mm-hmm. Dad uh-huh. And Dad goes, we're getting lower. Yeah. yeah. We're getting lower. Well, that, should, that shouldn't no. have sunk your boat. Your that, live that well. That takes water. Maybe it was the live well. Yeah, out you, of the boat. Yeah, yeah, you turn the live well pump on Wrong and one. just pump the back oh, of the okay. boat full of water. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what he did. Oh, yeah. I had water all in that boat. Been there, done that, too. <laughs> and Dad forget goes. That, I forget that that live well got two switches on it, manual and automatic, and I always fill it up on manual so it gets in there quick. And I got up there and fishing and forgot that I didn't put it on automatic. And I look back there and I'm like, boy, it's about three inches lower than it used to be. Yeah. And then I get the whole rear end just flooded full of water. So then turn the bilge pump on, boys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that bilge pump works better, too. You crank the motor and get on pad. It'll pump out a lot quicker oh, if yeah. you do that. <laughs> or, if you, or if you just go half throttle like some of these morons do on the lake. <laughs> look, let's, uh, let's make something real clear. Uh-oh. Public service announcement. Public service announcement. Yeah. For all you people who have boats, either idle by or go wide open. On pad. On pad. Yeah. There is no in between. Don't, yeah. do, don't go in between because mm. you are Make throwing it. the biggest yeah. weight you could possibly throw. Yeah. So either idle or, or get on plane. Or, or full speed. Mm-hmm. It amazes me how many people don't know that. I, I don't get it. Oh, one of the most entertaining things you can ever do is go sit at a boat ramp on a That's Saturday. Right. Oh, yeah. and, watch. And, just and just watch, watch people. Yeah, and just watch people try uh, and back up a trailer. And look, they make us take boater safety to operate a boat in the state of Louisiana. They don't ever address boat ramp etiquette. No. Or anything to do with a boat and ramp. And if you're launching a boat before daylight, turn your headlights off. Exactly. Yeah, turn them off. Or you can turn your parking lights on, your running there lights. You, you can see with them, your trailer lights stay lit up. But them boys that's got them high beams on going straight up the boat ramp, mm. terrible. Just blind oh, everybody. Bad. Man, and also, leave your winch hooked up to your boat. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. It's get, the, a little... get the back end of that boat in the water, then walk back and undo your winch. Because how many times have you seen them boats slide off those boat trailers? When nobody's in it? A lot. A lot. If you got yeah. a partner, you can go ahead and unhook yeah. it because his weight yeah. will keep keep the boat on the trailer. But, but it's, it's still possible. It's still possible. Like it's just a lot harder. But if that boat's empty and you go back and down that ramp, mm-hmm. yeah, it can it can be on the ramp. I've but, seen a many a boat on concrete. Mm-hmm. 
That's an expensive well, mistake. That, yes, too. Sir. Hey, and every mm. once in a while you see a pickup truck and the boat going the water. Or you just see the headlights <laughs> sticking out of the water. <laughs> yeah. You look down there and tell me, good, that look like a truck on the water. Yeah. yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of people in this world that's got no no business being around a lake. No. None. That, None. that is a true statement. I mean, I hate I'm it for them because they're public land and everybody owns them. But, like, just just know your role. Like, if, you, if you're that bad, show up about 10 o'clock. It'd be all right. Well, and there's nobody there. Or just be like me and be a deckhand. Yeah, go with people. Go with somebody. I mean, go with the Stone, a Martin, or my dad. And just do, and do what they say. Practice backing your boat in your garage a hundred yeah, times. Yeah. Like, there's just a hundred different oh, things Oh, back it up do. a trailer. That's why I just go and I, I do what I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Cy. Si. Yeah. you just a pretty hey, face, yeah. ain't you? Yeah, sit down uh, and shut up. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> Are uh, we ready to fish yet? <laughs> there. Uh, he'd stand there. He'd stand there with him, him, and, bull, rim him. him and Bullfrog, both of them. They stand there with the rod in right. hand waiting for the order. <laughs> Where do we throw, Captain? Yeah. Fish. Yeah. I see see that buoy. Throw 10 <laughs> feet to the right of that buoy and let it sink for 12 seconds. Oh, that's oh, man, funny. Alive. Oh, speaking of, uh, we just, me and Cy, went to Venice and uh, did a little red fishing, a little speckle trout, a little... Uh, uh, snapper red snapper well oh captain, captain Galt fine. down there yep fine trip it was a okay. fine trip so about a uh, hundred fish so josh so i told us about some nasty fish salad you made no oh, no it was very good uh, he said that guy he said that gallon fish. of mayonnaise hey, turned him no, off on it hey a brand new quart jar oh yeah okay and look when, just when, don't like mayonnaise when josh done this and took at least three quarters of it and let dropped it in that bowl I said, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Stone said, you need to taste it. I said, no, I don't need oh, to it, taste it. It was delicious. Uh, I but said, I'm uh, not a big mayonnaise fan, so no, sir. We'll, we'll jump on that, that Venice trip after <sighs> the break. That, oh, that, that'd be a good one to talk about. Yeah. All right, we'll be back right after this. Backed by 35 years of research and development, and look here. It's personally working for you. Look, it's worked for Stone, ain't it? Hey, yeah, it oh, works yeah. for him. Let me tell you something. This uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is no joke when it comes to physical <laughs> ailments. Is pain involved in oh, uh, jiu-jitsu? Just, you just walk around with pain. That's yeah. just part of it. But, uh, and, and this is no joke, I have been taking Omega XL for about a year now. And my injuries seem to heal quicker than they used to. I like it. So uh, it might be a coincidence. Who knows? But all I know is I take four of those things every day. And you're and out there strapping them young bucks. I'm strapping them young bucks, especially them young white belts. That come they in there tap, they're tapping they, out. They want to wrestle with an old man. Uh, <laughs> Look at this old man. Let Look, me go wrestle with him. Well, whether it's back, knees, neck, or shoulder pain, the underlying cause is likely inflammation. You have to defeat that inflammation or it can cause permanent damage. And that's where Omega XL comes in. Unlike other topical uh, pain relievers and rubs, Omega XL neutralizes the inflammation that is the root cause of the pain, discomfort, and stiffness. So, look, if it's good enough for Stone, it's good enough for anybody, right? If you're suffering with aches and pains, you need to try Omega XL. Let's get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. All you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-488. Hey, I'm ahead of you, son. 800-844-4888. One last time, 800-844-48. Slash duck, boys. 88. <laughs> Golly, he's a train wreck. Boy. Slash boy, duck, right. boys. <laughs> So what about what about the uh, maje- uh the fishing Oh, the, pants? the fishing So <laughs> so somebody a uh, lot of people oh, have been stone. Yeah. You are apparently a, a fashion icon because everyone needs to know stretchy fishing pants. Yes. They need details. Stretchy fishing pants. Yeah, uh, the best thing since pocket on a shirt. <laughs> it, I, I agree. I would say I would then I get mine. And Sai has my fishing pants. I keep, <laughs> I, I keep giving him fishing pants, and and I would say, 
the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever worn in my life. I will suck on that. Yeah. Okay, because so, he said I wore them about two weeks and I wear them, changing them. I wear them for fishing. I wear them during bow season when it when it's not cold yet hunting. I work out in them. I, I do everything in them. My daughter calls them my all-purpose pants. So these are these are stretchy fishing pants from Academy. Lightweight. They're Magellan brand. Yeah. yeah. Lightweight. Lightweight. Uh, and they're not that expensive. Here's a good price on them. Well, I got about ten pairs of them juggers. Yeah. But I guess I could. This is. What oh, look okay. Like. Yeah. Do, do, yeah. Do, do, do yeah. a little turn for like us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, model it for yeah. us. <laughs> anyway. right. You got the physique for modeling. Hey. Uh, You're an old Christian. That's called self-induced <laughs> torture. Uh, well, hey. By the way, I, had I ain't a, into that. I had a rib pop out. Yeah, the I know. Day. It was pretty rough. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so uh, I would highly recommend these Magellan fishing pants yep. they are super comfortable magellan pro angler that's yep. the ones you're looking L- for. literally i'm looking at the emails and i just type in fishing pants to sort the emails alan william ross kyle quint from savannah well, there's there's 20 emails savannah georgia savannah yep. georgia quint from savannah was like i need to know about these stretchy pants academy sports yeah. and outdoors magellan pro angler fishing bridges you'll yep. be glad you did they are the best it's oh, there you are j stone's pants lol okay. And they they all want to know. So now hey, you know. Stone, do you ever think you'd be a pant model? Nope. That's what I'm talking well, about. You, you won't. Trendsetter. You won't regret buying a pair of those nope. pants. I do pants. have some exciting news. I think it's exciting to me that I'd like to share. I got an email today, and everybody knows that I love chicken. Well, our our buddies over at Wingstop. This is not a paid advertisement. This is just a public service announcement for all you to know. They are now serving thighs. Mm. And this is where? At Wingstop. Size, where is Wingstop? Size never had Wingstop. I ain't had Wingstop. Well, then you're picking a good time to get started because we'll get on them chicken thighs because everybody knows the best piece of chicken is in brake pads, them thighs. That's that's the, that's the ones pad. you want. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Pad. That's what they are. Go so for the brake pads. The chicken yeah. breast is dry and tough. Mm-hmm. The chicken thigh is tender, tender and, and juicy. juicy. Oh, and now okay. it's going to be fried to perfection and tossed in whatever sauce you oh, want. My goodness. We are about to get out of here and go get on us some oh, chicken well, thighs. No, when I, I, when I was in college, I, I used to I, stop at Popeye's to get four spicy thighs and two biscuits. My man. Oh, me I'm too. I would Uh-oh. hammer it. Me and, me and John David run them suckers out of spicy thighs one day. We, went, we went to Popeye's and said spicy thighs. And they're like, how many? All of them. Yeah. All, all <laughs> hey, of them. Spicy thighs and uh, Magellan stretch pants, boys. You need to have them stretchy pants. Just, just, just right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that sounds like a song. Me I think Johnny, Jack Brown had it on. Me and Johnny D had them cards, you know, like them Rebel cards or whatever around here. That the football, uh, the football team, uh, where you buy a three-piece, get a two-piece. Yeah. We go in there, yeah, make that five spicy thighs. Y'all keep inside, son. We don't need them. <laughs> and, then, the and then they thought we were just splitting that, and I was like, no, no, no. No, we're run doing, it back. Run that. Tw- we're getting four meals. Yeah. Two for Martin, two for me. Boy, that's something. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to uh, visit the thigh stop. Oh, man. I'm very interested. I'm That's so excited. intriguing. So yeah. excited. Yeah. Very yeah. intriguing. And look, I love a chicken wing. Don't get me wrong. But if you're going to do the same thing to him, to a thigh, mm. oh, oh, man. That's, yeah, throw mm. the wing away. Yeah. 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 I'm liable to be 400 pounds by the time this is all. Oh, if yeah. they keep this thing around, it's, it's going to get bad yeah. for me because wing stop is way too close to my house. It is, oh, it is right not there. far. And, oh, mm. it needs to be out of the way. No, my wife loves Wingstop yeah. too. That's, yeah. Oh, them yeah. French fries. Those, those fries Cheers. dipped in that uh in that ranch. Uh-huh. They, they got the best ranch I've ever they put do. in my mouth. Hundred percent. Yeah. That's... So, anyways, we were talking about that, our fishing trip earlier. So we're we're in the boat fishing. Me and Cy and Bullfrog, uh, Josh Galt, and his son Tucker. His son about what? How old Tucker? About, about I'd say I'd say he's probably eleven. Yeah, he's probably 10, 11 or 12 yeah. somewhere yeah. around there. And, yeah. and anyway, him and Bullfrog were up on the nose of the boat just catching one fish after another. And, Competition and was on. The, the adults were in the back of the boat watching. I was baiting their hooks. Me and Josh Laughing, were baiting their hooks. Thing. They was having a big time. But but Cy si standing there watching all this. And I look up, Cy si grabbed one of the poles. He bumped Bullfrog out of the way. He said, let me get one of these. Let me get mine, boys. He <laughs> It's the first time to those. Look, they had the boats. They had me in the back. I couldn't fish. So, hey, you just got to nudge him out of the way every once in a while. 
<laughs> well, we laughed at that. Uh, that, that. That was a true Robertson move. Right size, up, hey. size up there boxing kids oh, out no, there. Hey, 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 give me a little room here That's now. That's right. Yeah, kids, kids and old men, boy, you got to get out of the way. <laughs> 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 but uh we 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 had a good trip we thoroughly enjoyed it and, you know the oh, first time josh got to meet bullfrog and he got a kick out of her because I, I told jo- tucker josh's little boy i said you need to come up and help bullfrog uh, shoot these does on, on our property up here and bullfrog said i don't need no help <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all trying to start some arranged marriage stuff oh, already. Oh, no, right? no, you no, dang no. right, I There's, yeah. there's I, worse ones that they could both be married to, that's for yeah, sure. They're about right. the same age. Both love the outdoors. Yep. They'll be good to go the rest of their life. Either, that's old, good. either old Tucker or old, uh, uh, Jeff's boy, Lane. Hey, old either, Lane. Either one of them do. Stone's already putting together oh, a list. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yep. <laughs> but one of, one, of, one of them's got good fishing. The other one's got good, good hunting. So, right. hey, win-win. Right. It's win. all a win. Right, that's win. it. Yeah. Right. Stone's always thinking. This one's got a good parcel of land that has got game on it. Okay, <laughs> parcel. There's nothing wrong with that, boys. Oh, oh no. Hey. Oh, that's hilarious. My that goodness gracious. Good. Hey, speaking of kids in the outdoors, mm-hmm. Martin, you saw our friend Michael, that post he made the other day, huh? Is that that's it? That's it. CJ. CJ done so, got him a huge oh, bass. Look, oh, big it. CJ played uh, uh, on Carter's soccer team, and my assist, my my friend Michael was the other coach. They CJ had this little bitty rod and reel. He's reeling it in, and they're like, that's got to be a gator or something, just a private pond. All right. Seven years old, caught yeah. a 13-pound bass. Yeah, that's a bull. The size of him. <laughs> yeah. And he, look, he, there's a video. It's hilarious. He reeled near. it all the way up to the end of the rod because they don't they well, what kind of rig did he have <laughs> well i guess it Zeb was Cole oh Polly. uh i forget probably Zeb they Cole. were fishing with live bait let's we can say that for sure <laughs> they, they were they were they were going for the big boys that's oh. for sure it's in this article right here um on darbone life but yeah they were they were fishing this private pond and they were like that's got to be something else because cj's just sitting there trying to get it in and they they looked down and right at the end of the thing was a thirteen pound bass. So as Bubby reaches in and just pulls the bass out immediately, mm. they all freaked out. But I figured, Sai, you'd get a kick out of both. Well, thirteen. He's mightier longer. He's longer than that kid. He's a seven year old holding a thirteen pound <laughs> bass with a honey hole hat on, which Michael and Bubby were both that oh, took him fishing. Used to work at the honey hole. You talking so. about a bull? Thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. That sucker was that long. Giant. I'm telling you, that's two pounds bigger than any one I've ever caught. I ain't never got. And he's seven. Like that. He's yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. He, he might as well quit. Yep. He done time well. Quit. It's time to do something else, because buddy, yeah. CJ, <laughs> my friend, CJ, I know your daddy. I went to school with him. <laughs> You've already caught one bigger than him, and that boy fishes seven days a week. <laughs> he quit, might quit bass fishing. Exactly. You're done. done. You, you know? will never hit this moment again, <laughs> yeah, that, ever. Yeah, that's what I told Bullfrog. Ever. Her first buck was a 13 point. I said, well, there's only one one direction yeah. to go yeah. from here. Well, let's take our final break. We're going to come back and get in that mail bag a little bit further. So we'll be back right after We this. got some mail. Martin, tell us. They emailed. I'm not sure on the name. We're just going to go with Owen as his name. I think that's correct. I like that name. Yeah. It says, Martin, I've been watching y'all's podcast. I'm a huge fan of the show. I have a huge question for you, and maybe you can give me some advice. My father and I haven't spoken in almost a year and a half. I love the man, but he is difficult to talk to. And when I do, our conversation always ends in an argument. What can we do? Hmm. I told you it was heavy. There you go. Well, first I'd have to ask, what are you arguing about? Okay. I yeah. like that. Yeah. So I, if you know whatever you're arguing about, don't get into that conversation. Pick pick something else. Pick another topic yeah. to discuss. We can we can solve uh, that one down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, talk about yeah, whatever. Yeah. Let's talk about fishing. Let's talk about hunting, gardening, whatever. Talk uh, talk about something that you have in common for crying out loud. Yeah. Because uh, I know f- from a, you know. It's uh to me it's sad, okay? Cuz I had, you know, me and my dad didn't talk a lot cuz daddy just didn't talk a lot. Okay? But the few conversations we had were very uh very special to me. Mhm. Okay? Cuz that that's the thing that gets me. You're you're 
uh, missing, you and your father both are missing a great opportunity to establish a good relationship with mm -hmm. each other. Yeah. yeah. And now, that's the sad part of it. Uh, that, that's one reason I said, hey, find something on common ground that you can actually talk about and not get mad. Yeah, because then you can repair whatever's yeah, broken yeah, in the yeah. relationship. That's right. and, I w and I would also say, um, since this happens every time, approach your dad and and tell him, Dad, this bothers me that we can't have a relationship, have a relationship yeah. without arguing. Yeah. I want to do everything we can to try to fix that. Mm -hmm. Is that and uh, and is that good with you? And then I think you start off by praying over your dad, mm -hmm. and praying for you and your dad at the same time, because yeah. I'm sure there's there's uh, blame to be had in in both parties. It's so not one sided. It's yeah, not it's one not one sided. One -sided. So look look share at yourself it, in the mirror, see what you can do yep. different. Yep. Pray, I guarantee you, you, pray over your dad and pray for the Almighty to help you with that, that it will get better. Yeah, it will. But you do have to put forth the effort. Yep. The prayers alone, they need action behind them mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah, I, I'm with you. I mean, f figure out something. Figure out something you have in common other than being father and son. Yeah. And figure out if you can do it. Unless that is where the problem is. But odds are it's not. Because if you have it in common, you both enjoy doing it. There's ways to do it. Look, me and my dad used to argue like cats and dogs when we was working on projects. But that was just what we did. I mean, that was part of our relationship. We, I would always try to find the easy way out of it. And he was trying to find – his way was going to survive the apocalypse, whatever it was, hanging up, putting in, whatever. <laughs> he was building it to be tough and last you for forever. Me, I'm like, I got other – I want to go fishing. I want to go hunting. I got other stuff I need to be doing. Let's put a little Band-Aid on it. But my dad wasn't a Band-Aid man. It was fix it and fix it till Jesus comes back. That's just the yeah. kind of man he was. So, yeah. you know, you would think if you sat there and listened to us, we didn't really love each other. But we loved each other. And But you can – there's a path forward in there, Owen. You just have to find it. And, and whatever path you've been attempting is not it. Uh, here's so the, change a game plan. That's yeah. it. Here's the thing I will tell you, okay, both of you probably are looking and saying, okay, you're going to have to change. Yeah. Okay. That ain't going to work it out. <laughs> okay. That's why I like, I like marriage. Okay. You, you fell in love with each other. Okay. You know, because of who you are. So don't, don't try to change someone. The only person you can change is yourself. Amen. Okay. So, you know, if you're looking to change him, you're never you're never going to establish the relationship you're hoping to have with him. And I leave it with this too: yeah. forgiveness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there's yeah. bitterness being held on yeah. inside of it, get oh, yeah. rid of it. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Pray for a forgetful heart. Like do do whatever you got to do because if it's always coming up in an argument, you're both both holding or, on to something yeah or guilty yep. of, you're both so, guilty of it so That's just right. let it go the best you can i'm not i'm not saying that that is easy but pray pray for forgiveness for both of you and then if you forgive first your dad will see that like it, and he'll he'll let go of his too but it may take you letting go of it first you, there's no right or wrong answer here other than to change whatever y'all been doing don't do that let's let's yeah. try something different so and and just my my best piece of advice is you should if you're listening to this drive there right now like, go there yeah it, life's too short to yeah. to have the you know family is so important and we've mm -hmm. seen it on this show from the robertson's perspective from the martin perspective from the owen perspective we've all talked about our dads yeah. it's you know there's a reason that god describes himself as a father yeah. And it's because a relationship with a dad is the closest. I really think that a relationship with your dad is the closest thing that God can even use to describe it. hundred percent. So, man, if, if, if you got something with your dad and look, me and my dad, we're the most two different human beings you've ever met in your life. But we're close and we know how to me and my dad probably ain't going to work at the honey hole together. That could get weird. But we know that. And so we know how <laughs> to, to be friends. And me and my dad are super close. So so, don't waste any time, man. Yeah. Go. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. Do yeah. it today, yeah. okay? Cause right you're now. Not, you're not promised the next second. Yeah. Okay? Neither is he. So don't put it off. And I agree. Fix this today. 
don't, fix this today. Don't depend on this guy. Yeah. Get in your truck, yep. get in your Personal. car, mm-hmm. go Personal. to it, yep. look Personal. him in the eye, hug him. Yep. You ain't Personal. even got to say nothing. Yeah, Personal. So, yeah. there you go. Feels up to me. We I'm wish a- you great luck with the relationship you're trying to establish with your dad. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. We've been getting a lot of these lately, um, and I'm going to combine two here because we have our two veterans uh, here with Stone and Cy. So Austin asks uh, if y'all could share some wisdom on keeping the faith uh, in God while being an active duty Ooh. military. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, and that sounds tough. Oh. I tough? got no clue. Well, and then uh, just the other one real quick is he did not send his name, and he's wondering – how to adjust back to civilian life, if y'all have any advice for that. He's done 20 years and had four deployments. So oh, wow. just military What's advice. his name? That one didn't have the name. Austin was the one who asked about keeping the faith in the Almighty okay. while being active duty. Wow. Okay. I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to let yeah. them talk. My unnamed man, thank you, thank you. for yep. your 20 years yes. of oh, service sure. to this country. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I'm going to let the two guys with experience take it home from there. Go ahead, so. Well, uh, you know, Austin, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, when you're in theater, uh, things, I mean, there's a lot of things that, that happen physically and emotionally. Um, and to be keep, to stay a strong Christian and, and present yourself like you know you should present yourself is a very difficult task. Indeed, when you say so, Si. Yeah. So my yeah. advice to you is stay in the Word. Pick a time every day where you can get in the Word, read your Bible, and pray on a daily basis. If you do that and pray specifically for what you're dealing with, that God will help you with this. Uh-huh. And it, it's going to be tough. Because every, everybody, I'll say everybody, most of the humans around you are not acting uh, accordingly. But it, it's just a very stressful environment to be in. And and people, you know, it, the last thing they're thinking about is reading their Bible and praying. So, but that being said, when you are in theater, it's good policy to be praying <laughs> every day because there's obviously a much higher chance of not making it out as opposed to here. Um, but, you know, that, that's my advice. Stay in the Word and pray. Yeah. Here, here's my personal thing, okay? This is what I really believe. God the Father and His Son Jesus, okay, and the Holy Spirit, they understand what you're going through, okay? Especially, okay, you're deployed in a war zone, okay? You know, that right there is hard enough. But know that the Creator, and this is just my personal belief, okay, uh, uh, God Almighty and His Son Jesus, in my personal opinion, have a personal relationship with soldiers, okay? They understand, okay? Because you're put in a situation that you have to do things that the rest of us never have to face okay that's why on the other one asking how do i how do i get back into civilian life after i've been a my nation's warrior okay especially if you've been in a war zone that's a tough one Hmm. okay but i'd just tell you hey surround yourself with veterans okay because they understand no one else does okay Veterans do because they've been through it with you. <clears throat> That's why our bonds form between soldiers that's thicker than blood, okay? Because these people have had to depend on each other uh, to keep alive, for crying out loud. But, hey, God understands what you're going through, and Stone said it, okay? <clears throat> you keep yourself available for God, with God Almighty, by reading his word every day and hey mm-hmm. ask him to help you with what you're dealing with yeah okay because he does he does understand that's my personal belief and i'll leave it with that yeah and, and, and hey 
thank you for service, both of you. That's right. And look, you know, I was 62 Echo, size of supply sergeant. We we didn't, we wasn't in the middle of it like like these some of these guys are. And, no, no. and you guys, you I, know who you are. Uh, you have you have now. Don't get me wrong. Everybody who served deserves credit because they served in yep. their capacity. And every everybody in the military has a job, a crucial job. And it's but, important for all of us. Yeah, that's right. But then you have your your infantry guys, your 82nd. Those your, that are elite uh, Rangers, that lived in the jungle. Special and forces with guys. Yeah. Those guys. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't tell you. How yeah. impressive those those, those yeah. humans are, yeah. and what they what they do, and what they the training they have to go through just to to get to the point where they can be a part of that. Uh, we wouldn't huh, we wouldn't be sitting right here Amen. if it wasn't for people like that. Nope. Yeah. So, Amen. Yep. <clears throat> I'm just I, saying. I I just I can't I can't express enough uh, of my gratitude to you guys, you men and women who. Who have served. Well, so. that's why, hey, y'all have heard me say it before. Those that have been through and, and has been baptized with live fire, okay, against the enemy, mm. okay, trust me, everyone that wears the uniform is a hero to me. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, okay? I always have, okay? And look, we need heroes, okay? But y'all are those that have served our nation, especially those that have gave limb and life for us mm. so we can sit in here and do what we're doing here, talk and be safe, okay? That's why I, you know, I don't have the words to describe how much I do respect you first, okay, and then love you yep. for who you are and what you've gone through for this country. And I'll stop. Amen. Because I could talk to you forever like that. Yep. No, I'll tell you one thing. We did a job at, 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 in Bagram for, a, for some uh, Delta Force guys. Let me tell you something. You do not want to cross <laughs> one of them. I believe it. Look, I'll tell you right now, Austin, unnamed fella, and anybody else that's listening that has served or a family member of someone yeah. who has served. Yeah. We thank you. We thank you guys. I have nothing but the utmost respect for you. Um, and man, thank you for doing a job most others don't want. So you um, run to the fire, and everybody else everybody runs away else from it. running from it. Yep. Well, what we got, Johnny D? Let's close out on a good, good yeah. piece of the. Oh, word. I got you one. I appreciate it. But and you know, you say that to other veterans, and we we yeah. all think that about you up here. On yeah, but say no. you too, Stone. Stone men, Stone understand when we said okay. They're at a different level that, than I yeah, am. That's right. I served, okay, but I didn't serve to the level that a lot Johnny of D. that I've met have. I Johnny D., when your mama said you can do anything you want to do in life, she was lying. One hundred percent. Drew Brees uh, told that to his kids. Uh, I was like, "Quit lying to them." Uh, All right, I'm goodness. sorry. Well, I got a great verse, I think, for us here to to wrap this one up. This is Jesus Himself's words in John 15 verses 12 and 13. My command is this: Love each other as I've loved you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. So for all of you serving in the military that have served, that laid down your life, that just gave up part of your life just to serve, we thank you. And the boys in the duck call room will always be grateful for yep. all of you. Yep. Amen. Always. And hey, like I told you before, Jesus does know, okay? Yeah. He's, you're special to him. I really believe that. We're out. See y'all next time. See you next time.